Hi everyone, how are you? Our today's lesson is more attributes of a table in HTML. Attributes mean properties. Now today we will learn how to create a professional table in HTML. So we will discuss column span, row span, background, cell padding and cell spacing. These two are very important. Now I will give uh, explain here. This is a table in MS Word. If we delete this, these are rows only. This row 1, row 2, row 3, row 5. But see here, days is occupying each cells equal to two rows. This row 1 and this row 2. We want to display days in two cells equal to two rows size. Okay, so for that we will use row span. I mean row size is equal to two rows. So row span we will use. And here for class timetable grade heading, if you want to give heading within the table, otherwise we can in Word you can type here. So we want to merge eight cells from here one to eight we have merged and displayed class timetable grade eight so for that we will use column span I mean what is the column size eight columns we have merged so these two concepts are very very important today others we will use when we will create a table we will use this how to set background color what is cell padding and what is cell spacing so we will move to the lesson. So this is lesson number three. This is the using H tag. We are giving the heading. How to create table using column span, row span, cell padding and cell spacing. And again how to create a timetable. This is a heading. So we will use table tag. Within the table tag we will use border is equal to one. Okay. Now within the border, what is the first tag? It is TR and we will close the tag. row. So first start and close and then press enter key here. This is the first row of the table. Now in the first row, what we want to display days TD. TD. As, as I explained, days, how much row size it is occupying? Days occupying equal to two rows. So we will use row span is equal to two. Okay. And now type here days. And then we will close TD. Okay. Now again, in HTML, we have created row only row but for this days we are saying create a row size cell size equal to two rows okay for this cell only but in the same row next we want to display in a single row it will not occupy two rows in a single row but how many columns you want see td we want column span is equal to it now uh, what we want to display class time uh, table this class time table grade it and close the td so try to understand this this we have created one row we said first cell equal to two rows because row span is equal to two then in the same row after this cell td is column span it will by default it will take first row equal to first row we, we didn't mention row span here we say we are saying take eight column size and merge it but where it will display in the same row so it means second row is empty now okay 
so we want to save it and check it so clear this logic see so days class time table okay now column span is equal to row span is equal to 2 days td and here right but now we want to create another row here td now what we want to display here number of periods 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 so this td and close the row here we can check it that it is sorry displaying number one where it is displaying under the class or under the days so we will save it and check see so first period is coming here so we will divide these we will utilize these eight cells now okay so here now just see same row now we will use td how many times eight times we will use automatically it will create this is four we will copy again to save time eight time we want so here two, see so eight number of periods we want to mention in that row but this is the this row is part of this because this row is divided into when we mention row span 2 so it means its size is equal to 2 rows so this row will come in the second row here in that row ok so save it see now easy now just copy the row this complete row and paste it here what we want to display here Sunday this subject any subject you can mention ICT maths bio physics English P SST we will add one TD more because one is occupied by Sunday this Sunday is extra so nine here so this for example uh, that is Arabic okay so save it and now run execute the file C so days are coming here this number of periods are here and these are the subjects now we'll copy paste okay so we will copy paste the code this one this for Monday okay and we will close the row also we didn't copy okay okay 
So copy this with complete copy. This for Tuesday. Okay. Now this for Wednesday. And this for Thursday. So five days we have in the timetable. So we will save and check. Good. So days are coming under days, class timetable heading, and this. I have used the same subject data, so you can use different one. So this is a class timetable. So we will go here. Now we will use different other attributes. Now we have discussed column span. I think it is clear to you. Row span we have discussed. Now cell padding and cell spacing. Okay. Other we will use BG color also. Background color. So three attributes we will discuss more. So here if you want to give a full table background color you can use bg no space bg color one word equal to in quotation start with hash sign bg color is a six digit code i will show you the codes okay so you have to just google it background color code six digit color code you can create your own uh, color series so for example, I will use 0055 FF. These are the six digit starting with the hash encloses with the quote enclose in quotations. So let us see which color is this. So save the file. See dark brown color is this. So I will show you color codes uh, I have, yes. So you can Google, uh, Google it color codes. So see these are the different color codes starting with hash C000 for silver, hash 808080 for gray, hash 000 for black. So these are the different codes you can use but up to 6. Okay, number and letters mostly F letter and C is there and other digits are there. By default there are 3 colors RGB red green and black okay so hexadigit code makes different colors by changing the values so these are the color codes okay so we will set go here this is a color code now another attribute is align you want to set the data in the center align center okay so color is this align this then space cell padding p a w d i n g padding is equal to cell padding is size of the cell equal to for example 20 okay and cell spacing is equal to 5 okay so this all attributes will come in table border 1 bg color this align any quotation center cell padding in quotation value cell spacing this okay so we will save this and check the results see so blue color see the table size of cell size increased values are in the center and this is cell spacing mean between the two cells how much space you are giving so if you increase the space it will display more it will come show more space so see we will check 
if you want to give 15 so save it and run the value again see so it will come like this okay so now last you can change any cell color independently also so see this row sunday is here you can use background change the background here also again bg color equal sign start with hash for example for green it is 8000 make sure five digits are there six total six so eight five zeros yes so close this so this is for green color so we'll save the file and execute it sorry it is red color so for this it is a red color okay so see so like this you can change different colors of the different cells and you can change set more attributes cell padding cell spacing you can change it okay so this is complete code of timetable i hope you uh, this is very clear to you you got it very clear and uh, i think no confusion in that so practice this how to create a timetable using these attributes in a professional way in HTML. Thank you very much.